Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the light bringers, and soulpreneurs of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you, make sure you hit the subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on this channel. So let's dive in, Leo, to your month of April. What do you need to know? How can you best navigate it? And what messages do the angels have for you. And I do want to point out there very much is a, a, um, a relationship energy here. Okay. So you may find yourself doing a lot of work around relationships or also it, this could be doing a lot of work around emotions or both. Okay. Um, we do have a lot of that energy and we're going to first dive into the section of cards that is representing the overarching themes that you can expect through this month. Okay. So the first thing that we have here is the eight of water. Okay. And this is about feeling ready to move on from something, you know, you're maybe, um, looking for more meaning in your life. You want something more meaningful or you're looking for a more meaningful, more connected relationship. And you're just feeling this calling, feeling this want and this need to move forward. And, um, you may find yourself just even wanting to connect on a deeper level with your spirituality. Uh, this can represent spiritual growth, spiritual enlightenment, spiritual development, which I certainly think um, this time in our history where we are spending so much time either well at home or um, so many of us are anyway and where we are just like having opportunities to process things and I feel like this is fostering a lot of upcoming change for you and a lot of clarity and really um, helping you to step into a more meaningful life. I almost feel like I pulled this card for you guys before because this energy has been building and growing for you guys. We also have the lover's card. Okay. So for me, this is about a choice, a major choice that you are trying to make. And oftentimes this is connected to relationships, although it doesn't have to be. So this may be a situation where there is a third party involved and you're trying to decide which relationship is going to be the better fit or what you should do next or where you you should go. Uh, this can also be about, you know, you just deciding, do I want to stay in this relationship? Do I want to go? What do I want to do? And again, it comes down to, does this serve you anymore? Does this, um, help you to feel like you're living your most purposeful life, your most fulfilling life? This can also represent just being in good health and overall well being, or representing just a major, life decision that you are in the process of trying to make, I think that you will have the clarity to make it with this showing up upright. I also want to acknowledge the six of earth reverse energy because this is saying to me that maybe money is kind of tight this month, you know, or, um, it, maybe it's not necessarily even connected with money, but you're just not feeling like the things that you're wanting are flowing into your experience right now or in the way that you want them to. And this is really saying things will come, it'll come, it'll all work out, but it's time for you to just find balance in your life. It's time for you to, um, work on finding balance, especially if, if, it, if money is off, if you know, you're not bringing in enough or something like that, really finding some solutions for how can I find balance here? Because I think that that's going to help you in the long run. So this isn't going to be a month for you to go out and, um, you know, spend a lot of money online or something like that when you are as a way to process or deal with the emotions that you have going on. Okay. So just be really mindful of your spending, be mindful of the vision that you have for things, because sometimes, um, our expectation of the things that are, that we're supposed to have, or that we're meant to have is not what God intended for us right now in this timing, or maybe God has something even better for you. So being open to, um, abundance or different things manifesting in your life in a different way than maybe you intended for yourself. Be open to that. Be flexible to that because if different things are arriving and um, we allow it, we allow ourselves to just flow with it, oftentimes we find ourselves in a much better position because uh, God has a way of sending better things our way than we could have ever imagined. The next one that we have here is the 
Child of Nature Reverse. And so it's interesting because I also have the Feeling Safe card. And this is suggesting to me that um, for some of you, you may be finding yourself in a situation where you're not feeling safe. There may be a situation where things are feeling, whether emotionally abusive, verbally abusive, physically abusive even, um, this can represent an abusive situation or uh, someone's abuse of power in some way. So this is acknowledging that, that energy that's happening for you and it's acknowledging that this is accurate. Or, you know, you also want to be mindful of how am I being... Um, maybe abusive toward other people or how am I not making other people feel safe? Uh, so you want to just make sure that you are holding yourself accountable here in case that's you. But there definitely is an energy of, you know, just not treating people or um, not having it well or not um, recognizing the positives that you have in your life this can also be with the child of nature this can be about like get out there connect with people connect with nature I know that we can't really get out there and connect with people right now but uh, do it you know online or or something of that nature as well but let yourself get out in nature let yourself get connected to nature that's going to be important for you through this month now the next cards that we have here are the challenges and the barriers that you might expect showing up for you okay so the ten of water reversed again a water card again oftentimes connected with relationships this is really saying that things at home things in our relationships are just not feeling rewarding are not feeling like they're fulfilling to you anymore and you're looking for more this can also be a, an issue connected with trust within a relationship again that I, I feel like with that lover's card that you may have found that there's been some kind of a betrayal or um, maybe perhaps you have been the person who facilitated the betrayal so just being mindful of that and and doing what you need to do to uh, take accountability for your choices but we have this ton of water energy and I really feel like this is like I'm just not feeling happy I'm just not feeling like this is meaningful or serving me anymore and I do see a moving on whether that's you or whether that's your partner but I do see a moving on and this doesn't have to be romantic relationships by the way guys this can be you know friendships that you've had or or even family relationships that just aren't serving you anymore that maybe um, there's been dishonesty or um, it, it's just not fulfilling you in your life anymore we also have this eight of air energy which is saying to me that maybe you feel more stuck than you actually think you are this is about moving forward this is about taking action this is about going for it and it's really saying that anything any way that you feel trapped here is really an illusion okay um obviously honor your intuition but have the confidence to move forward with this as long as your intuition says for you to go for it because again you're not as stuck as you think you are the uh, next card that we have here is the ten of fire reversed okay so this is you feeling overwhelmed this is you feeling like you, you're just you have so much going on in your life and may find yourself experiencing stress related health concerns now interestingly enough we have this lover's card that really can represent good health okay so this is saying to me that you with with this showing up reverse that you begin to make decisions and you begin to make choices that allow you to get back on a healthier path so maybe these stress related health concerns have already been showing up for you in your life um, because you haven't been acknowledging how unhappy you've been or how disconnected a relationship in your life has felt or, or circumstances in your life have felt or how meaningless certain things have felt and um, I think that as you begin to explore that as you begin to make some changes this really helps in releasing these um, this this level of stress and overwhelm that is actually impacting you potentially to the point that it's impacting your health we also have this Prince energy okay um, so this can be um, you you know connecting with your inner Prince and, and being that romantic and um, chivalrous person you know, um, this can also be the arrival of a wonderful energy of a prince in your life that is romantic, that is loving, that is kind. Uh, this is 
you know, um, often can be a, you just connecting with your own power, you know, um, connecting with a loving power, I want to say. So, uh, leading in leadership, but leadership with love, being powerful, but doing so in a way that is loving, that honors other people. We also have moving forward fearlessly. So I do feel like you are going to be moving forward. Do I think that you're going to feel fearless in it? No, right? Because this is showing up in your challenges section, but you are encouraged to do so anyway, to, to go for it anyway. If your intuition is calling for it, if your soul is calling for it, move forward as fearlessly as you possibly can. Then the next cards that we have here are the gifts that you can expect throughout this month. Okay. So the four of water, Again, I'm going to just read it to you. It says, missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. So I feel like there are some possibilities that you're not recognizing that you are going to recognize. You know, look around you. Notice, uh, don't be so in a funk that you aren't recognizing the gifts that you have or the gifts that are arriving into your experience. I do also see this as um, potentially someone new, a new relationship coming into your life or um, just like a new focus in terms of the kind of relationships that you want to manifest into your world where you are, I always call it changing your magnet, right? You're, you're deciding what is it that I really want in regard to relationships in my life, whether that's like friendships, family, romantic relationships, and what are those qualities? And when you can think about that and when you can focus on that, you can actually magnetize that to you. So I feel like you guys are going to be doing that um, and inviting that energy into your life. It might not happen this month, although it certainly could with some of these energies, but it feels as though you're going to be working through some things and moving forward from some things, and it may allow for some new opportunities to come into your life, relationship or otherwise. We also have the moon card upright. Okay, so this is saying to me, you have a lot more help behind the scenes than you realize. Help is on the way. Um, your gods and your angels are doing a lot behind the scenes to help you on this journey. So understand that they're with you and that they're helping. Working on um, just releasing the fears that hold you back too. Okay, so what fears are holding you back? How is fear holding you back? Um, and how can you release that? So again, you can move forward fearlessly. Okay. The next card that we have here is the Empress card reverse. So you may not feel like you have all the money that you need, or you have all the stuff that you need, or you have all the people that you need. You just might not feel like things are manifesting the way that you want them to. But I would say that, um, God always gives us what we need, not necessarily what we want. And this is your time to just trust that, that you have everything that you need to be able to progress and move forward in a way that's best for you, for you and for your future. So understand that and understand that it's important for you to focus on your dreams and where you want to go next and to uh, focus on giving birth to those dreams. You know, how can you take action? How can you um, work in that direction? How can you not keep yourself stuck through fear or through self-sabotage? The next card that we have here is the pioneer card. So I do see you doing something positive with some of this energy with, I feel like you're going to feel very creative this month. You're going to have a lot of ideas. And the pioneer card says passion for doing and creating what has not been done before. So you are doing something new. This might, might be something new that you're creating in your own life. This might be something new that you are bringing to society, but you're definitely going to be creating something new in your life. The next card that we have, the last card that we have is the inner child card. Okay, so I do see you doing some work around some inner child issues, around healing the inner child, around um, just growing past some of these issues from the past. One of the things that I'm noticing is happening so much for people as we're going through this process of staying home and having sometimes a little bit more quiet to process things is that we are doing a lot more of our shadow work. Our shadows are showing up. Our, the work that we need to do is showing up. Allow yourself to do this work. Allow yourself to 
ask your inner child, what is it that you're needing right now? How can I help to heal you? Because I think that this is a beautiful opportunity for healing and moving forward for you this month. So those are your messages for this month. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button and I would love to hear from you in comments below. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity, you can check me out at discoveryourawakening.com. I'll see you guys soon with another video. Take care.